Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another lesson in our trades training video series. This video is going to introduce to you a bunch of power tools that are used in general construction. Let's get right into it. But as usual, we're going to follow along with a presentation by Teach Construction. You'll see that up here. And down below, we'll capture and present any close-ups that help us uh, explain some of these details. To start with, let's talk about these tools. When you're building, you're, you need tools. We've gone over some hand tools, and now power tools become a big part of building. There's a lot of different power tools. That we're going to break them up into categories, tools that saw, tools that drill, uh, tools that sand, this kind of thing. We're going to start with our saws, and these are going to be tools that cut materials. To begin with, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite tools for precision on the job side. This is what we call a compound miter saw. This saw is going to be a very accurate tool when you learn to use it properly. And with a little bit of setup, you can make repeated cuts. You can be very productive and accurate at the same time. I would call this a semi-stationary tool. You're going to set it up. It's not going to move around a lot. You'll put this on the job site. You'll create a cut station and cut with it. The purpose of this tool is to cut materials of certain widths and make uh, straight, squared, or angled cuts on those materials, typically wood-based materials. It, this tool has a pivoting arm. First of all, it's got a a spinning round blade that's going to be turned by a motor and there is an arm that is hinged and spring loaded so that it always is up as you push it down it's going to cut through the material the distance or capacity of your material is dependent on the size of the blade and the the setup of the table you can also with this tool create different angles in a lot of different directions and there are a lot of features on this saw that work really well if you want to find out more about this saw, learn more about it check out this link above about with with more in-depth information about the compound miter saw next up is another very important power saw we're going to call the circular saw this saw has a round rotating blade as well. This is a free-handed saw though. This one is very portable, can go anywhere on the job site that you can get a drop cord to. And the, the accuracy and precision of this tool is dependent on you as the person to control it and to steer it. So this tool is going to have a base plate that's going to sit on the material. The blade's going to turn and cut that material and you are going to hang on to it and steer it or guide it through that cut. There's a couple of different types of circular saws. This is called a direct drive. That's a certain configuration. Another version that you will see is a worm drive circular saw. So this one and this one, this one's much heavier, much more powerful. This one is lighter and can be used for other types of cutting. Both do the same thing, have similar features. And if you want to learn more about how these tools work, which this is a tool that you have to master, check out our, the link above for the safety and use and parts and types of circular saws. Another power tool you might find on the job site is a table saw. This is a much larger tool. This falls into the stationary power tool category. I uh, don't have one here. It was a little too big for our presentation today. But as you can see, this saw has a large table on it and it has a blade that comes out of that table. You have some precision settings for the adjustment angle and height of that blade. And there's a fence that you can run the material along. This is good for rip cuts or making repeated cuts in materials. So if you want to learn something more about this saw, definitely visit our link above. And this saw requires a lot of skill and safety considerations to use well. This is not a tool that you jump into without any experience. There's a whole group of saws that I'm going to call reciprocating saws. And what I mean by reciprocating is we talked about saws that spun a blade, a circular blade. Now we're going to talk about a saw that takes a straight blade and moves it back and forth. This is reciprocating. The action is reciprocating. There's several saws that do this. I'm going to start with the sawzall or reciprocating saw. 
This power tool is called a Sawzall. That's a brand name. It is truly a reciprocating saw. It has an arm on it that's going to move back and forth in that sawing motion like a handsaw. It's going to have some features on it that help it work. I will tell you, this is not a, a perfectly precision tool to use. You, you will find this used in demolition and making some rough cuts. It's very difficult to get fine cuts out of this tool. It does have a variable speed trigger and it requires two hands to operate it. That was a corded version or an electric version. Here is a, a, a cordless version, battery operated reciprocating saw. Same parts, same features, works the same way. The benefit of a cordless uh, tool is obviously there is no cord to get in your way. The benefit of the corded tool is it allows you to have a lot more power in that tool that can help when cutting through difficult materials. If you want to learn more about reciprocating saws, go to our link above that will add to a lot more of the detail and workings of this specific power tool. Another type of reciprocating saw is going to be a jigsaw. So we talked about reciprocating saws and they were rough cut saws. A jigsaw is a much more finished cut saw. It's not going to be able to handle the depth and the uh, thickness of materials that a reciprocating saw would. This is typically for sheet goods and things like that. But a jigsaw is much more precise, easily controlled. We had a two-handed uh, reciprocating saw. A jigsaw is much more of a one-handed tool and the blades can make very fine cuts. The other thing that a, a jigsaw is really good for is cutting curves. Most of our saws we're trying to attempt and trying to make straight cuts. A jigsaw can make curves, cut circles, and cut within the center of panels. A multifunction tool. This, this is a cutting tool that is not one you would use if you needed to make a very long cut. This one is for small uh, detail cuts. And this would happen if you were trying to cut or, or adjust drywall or make some minor adjustments to cutouts in panels, things like that. So this tool has a, a, a couple of different blades that can be attached to it, which can make it cut through various different materials. This particular blade is round all the way around, which offers you a lot of access to different positions. And the way this tool works is the reason I think of it as a reciprocating tool is because it's going to move back and forth, but only in really small amounts. So as it moves back and forth, it, that cutting action is going to travel through the material. There is a whole category of power tools that we're going to use for two main purposes, boring holes in materials and driving and removing fasteners. We call these drills and a drill could be a cordless drill. This is an impact driver and this is a cordless drill. Very similar tools. The, the difference is we talked about driving fa and removing fasteners. That's what an impact driver is for. The cordless drill is going to be also good for boring holes as well as fasteners. As you can see, they have a lot of the same features. It's just that this one has a special action that assists in driving those fasteners. And this one is a little more versatile that it can also bore holes. If you needed a little more power or you needed to drill in the masonry, you will upgrade your drill to an electric drill. This is an electric hammer drill. You're going to plug it in. It requires a drop cord and an, an electrical outlet to power it, but you're going to get from that, you're going to get the advantage of a lot more torque or force at the chuck that's going to allow us to drill through much deeper and more difficult materials and it you don't have to worry about the battery dying or waning another whole category of power tools are going to be sanders and sanders come into play at different points in construction a lot of sanders are for when we get to the finished side of things. I'm going to show you three different sanders and we're going to go from a light duty sander to a heavy duty sander, starting with a palm sander. This one takes a pad of, of or a piece of sandpaper. It's going to clamp on there and now there's going to be a vibrating action. It's called an orbital sander. Now you will not be able to see a circular pattern that this creates. It's more of just a vibration but it's really traveling in a very small circular motion. 
This would be your lightest duty sander. If we went up one step or a little more aggressive than our palm sander, we'd go to a random orbital sander. This one is going to combine the tiny circular motion of the palm sander and, and then it's going to rotate this disc at the same time. This is going to allow us to have a little more aggressive sanding pattern and do a little more work. A belt sander is going to be one of the more aggressive sanders you'll see. And you can see why. This tool is going to take a belt and it's going to rotate it on these wheels. And that is going to, you can add whatever grit sandpaper you want to it. If you need to take away a lot of material, a belt sander is the way to do it, not necessarily a finished sander to use. Here's a list of terms used when we're talking about power tools. And as always, I like to stress this idea of learning the language of building and using it on the job site. Knowledge is power and it only allows us to build better. So I hope you've learned something about these various power tools and you will see them on the job site. And I hope if there was one that you needed to know more about, I hope you will look into that in our other resources. So thanks for watching. That's a wrap. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.